Hey guys, welcome back to another video in our mini series on React hooks. So in this video, we will learn everything about use effect, which is one of the most useful and powerful React hook with different examples. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I have a very basic setup of my React application with three components. So I have an app component, which imports two other components, the C component, which is a class component and the F component, which is a function component. And inside the class component, I have make use of the use state for my Boolean variable flag and the initial value of the flag is true. So if you don't know about the use state, check out my previous video on the use state. You can click on the card above or I will add the link in the description. And this app component has just a single button which actually changes on click of that button. We actually change the state of the flag. If it's a true, it gets changed to false. If it's false, it gets changed to true. So it's a toggle. And based on this flag, we actually do the show and hide of our class component. So if I click on this toggle button, the class component will get hidden. If I click on it back, we can see the class component. And inside the class component, we actually make use of the lifecycle methods. So we have a component did mount. Whenever the component is mount, we actually lock this component did mount. Whenever the state of the component gets changed or updated, we actually call the component did update. And when we actually destroy our component, we call the component will unmount. So if I do an inspect element and if we go to the console log, then let me refresh the page and you will see that the initially the component is mounted. So that's why we get printed the component did mount. And then we have made use of a set interval, which actually for every second it calls the show date function. And inside the show date function, we actually set the state of the time with the new time. And that's why whenever we set the new state of the time, the component gets updated and we get printed that I am from updated. So for every second, the component is getting updated. So we can see that I am updated. And the last thing is when we actually want to destroy this component, we don't want to still listen to this event, the set interval. So we need to destroy this. And for that, what we will do, we are doing the component will unmount. And when the component gets unmounted, we actually clear the interval. So that's why when I click on my toggle class, the component is actually get unmounted and we no longer execute this set interval function. So this is how the lifecycle method works in a class component. But when we work in the functional component and if we want to use all these lifecycle method effects, then we need to make use of a react hook, which is the use effect hook. And using the use effect hook, we can actually achieve all these lifecycle side effects. So let's go to our function component. And inside this function component, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to see how we can do the component mount, how we can do the component will update and the unmount using the use effect. So what I have done, you can actually import the use effect from the react using this use effect. We actually have the two state variables. One is the time. The other one is the message. And we have created a function show date, which actually updates the time. So that is the set time and we update the time with the new time. So now let's go in the app component and instead of the class component, we will be make use of the function component. All right. So now if I, and let's change this to function component. So I'm going to change this to a function component. All right. And now if I click on it, then we can see that this part is now coming from the function component. And let's go to a function component. And now what we are going to do, we are going to make use of the use effect. And we want to do it first for the component did mount and for the state update. So what we can do, we can simply write here use effect. And this use effect function takes the first argument as a side effect function. So I'm going to make an arrow function here. All right. And inside this arrow function, we will write whatever side effect we want to run. So here I'm going to do a simple console dot log 
and this will be used whenever a component component mounted or a component is updated all right and now if i save it then you will see that this is getting called whenever a component is mounted or updated now we know that the first time the component gets load we see that the component is mounted but we also want to see that when a state is updated this use effect function should be called so now if i click on this change message it's going to change the message and along with that it also going to run the use effect so if i click on it then you will see that the component is mounted or updated if i click on the show date then you will see that it is again getting clicked so whenever i click on the show date it is actually going to call the use effect function so this use effect function will be called whenever any of the state of your component gets changed so if it's changed the if time is changed it will get called if message is changed it will get called or if we want to call this function only the first time when the component is mounted and not the state is updated then we can actually pass a second argument and that will be an empty array and now if i save it and if i refresh my page then you will see that a component mounted or updated and now if i change my state it is not going to call the use effect function if i change the show date it is not actually going to call this function so if you want to call your use effect function only once when the component is mounted you can actually pass a empty array here and now instead of calling this use effect function on any of the state variable gets changed we can actually make it as that if i want to call the use effect only when my time gets changed and not the message then i can actually pass a dependency of my state variable which is the time all right and if i save it if i refresh my page and now if i click on my change message the use effect function will not be called because the only dependency for the state we have added is the time so if i click on the show date it is actually going to call if i click it again it will call again if i click it again it will call again so this is how you can make use of different uh, life cycle methods of your class component and you can use the achieve the same effect with the help of the use effect and now we have seen that we can actually make use of use effect for our component did mount component did update but what about the component will unmount so whenever we want to destroy our components we want to do all the cleanup so you do the cleanup for the task like you have made some subscription so whenever you destroy your component you actually want to unsubscribe your service or the subscription which you have made so what we will do to demonstrate that i am actually going to add a set interval function so what i'm going to do i'm going to click here and i'm going to add a constant of an interval and this is equals to set interval and i will call my show date function and this show date function will be called after every one second all right and now if i save it then you will see that my component get mounted will call every time because every time the show interval function calls the show date and we are updating the state of the time function that's why this time function is getting updated and the use effect function is called again and again all right so now we can see that the state is getting updated but what we want is that we want to destroy this component the function component and when we destroy the function component we actually want to clear this interval so if you want to clear this interval in your uh, class component you can clear it in the component will unmount method but in the use effect you can actually have here a return and this return will actually return a arrow function and this arrow function you can actually whatever you want to do a cleanup you can actually add your cleanup here so i'm going to write a console.log and here i'm going to add the cleanup cleanup of interval and i will do the cleanup so i'm going to do a clear interval and i'm going to use this interval variable here all right and now if i save it then you should be able to see that if i refresh my page then you will see that every time the use effect runs first it actually clean ups whatever the previous state was and after doing all the cleanup it actually runs the side function 
So now if I actually want to toggle this and if I click on it, then you will see that the cleanup is done and no longer the function of this use effect are being executed. If we click again, then we will see the component is mounted and updated and then the cleanup will run and then the side effect will run. So this is what the use effect is. So you can use the use effect hook for doing the side effects like all those we can do in the class component and its lifecycle method. All those side effects can be done with the help of the use effect. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you like this video. A thumbs up is appreciated. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter for latest updates. I will add the links in the description below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. And thank you. Thanks for watching.